I get it. You're scrolling through Instagram, you're looking at these gorgeous pedal boards and you wanna put one together yourself. But then you look at the price tag. There's overdrives that cost over $600, guitar processors that cost more than your car. Seems impossible. So what we decided to do is create a $100 pedal board challenge. And what we did is we created three different pedal board setups, all for under $100, just to show you that it is possible to get a great sound and a great look on a budget. For this challenge, I enlisted the help of Casey and Ryan and gave us each $100 to get started. Next, we had to set some basic rules for the challenge. First, the pedal board had to include at least three pedals. All the pedals had to be purchased and cannot be any you already own. Next, the $100 had to include patch cables and a way to power your pedals. Finally, you have to include a pedal board or platform to hold and transport your pedals. I have zero confidence I'm going to win. I'm just gonna have as much fun as possible and make it really weird. You know, I think I'm gonna to have to get creative to uh, to do well in this competition against these particular people. Uh, I'm excited though, I've got some ideas. So I feel pretty confident in the challenge having run a pedal board company for 11 years. I think I can handle the pedal board part. Pedals, I got a few uh, ideas, a few tricks up my sleeve. And with that, we had two weeks to shop and find all of our parts and pedals needed for our $100 pedal boards. All right, for this challenge, I had two strategies in mind. My first one was to focus on used pedals instead of new pedals. I had a feeling both Ryan and Casey were gonna hop straight to Amazon for their pedals. $5.99 on Amazon, also from Amazon. Also from Amazon, basically everything I got was from Amazon. So I thought I would be able to kind of punch outside of my weight class a little bit by going used. I figured used pedals don't really affect the tone or the aesthetic very much, so I might as well get a little more bang for my buck uh, not buying brand new. My second focus was to rely heavily on my woodworking skills and focus a lot on the pedal board build. And that's why my pedal board is going to have a live-in hard case, not just a platform to support the pedals. I My strategy is I'm gonna go for more tone on the pedal side than aesthetics and stuff because I don't know how to make stuff. I like somebody who owns a pedal board company. So my approach to building a $100 pedal board was uh, functionality was my main focus. So I figured on such a skinny budget, I wanted to come up with the best single tone profile that I could come up with. Uh, because I figure a hundred dollars isn't gonna go very far in the idea of having like an eclectic array of sounds so I wanted like one pro tone is what I, it was my goal with our strategies in place all three of us set out to put together our hundred dollar pedal boards and unveil them to each other in two weeks All right, close your eyes, close your eyes. You'll see it in the shot. I'm just looking down. Close your eyes. I can't. Just close the eyes. You can't, you can't close. close. Okay, okay, look forward. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what if I told you for $100, I was able to build a pedal board with a live-in hard case, custom patch cables, an isolated power supply, and not three pedals, but four pedals. I present my $100 pedal board. You want to each take a latch here? Oh my gosh, it's super cool. <laughs> I actually this like it exactly so much. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Too. Whoa. Enjoy. This one is too small to hold a battery, uh, so he used it. Okay. All right. Okay. It's beautiful, actually. I really like it. I really like it. How, okay, so like, how is this? Like case not expensive. You have four pedals. You used one piece of wood. Oh, you just used for five hours. Craftsmanship. So 
So overall, my board came together really well. The board itself with the case turned out great. I really loved how it looked. My pedals sounded really good. My custom cables turned out great. Fired it all up. I'm really excited for the guys to see how it turned out. I don't have any sound. The battery's dead. Hopefully not. Something you bought has something crappy in it. F***ing batteries. <laughs> I had tested my pedal board a couple days prior. It sounded great, looked amazing. I forgot to remove the batteries or unplug the input cables from the pedals. So when I went to show the guys, all of my batteries were dead. That sucks. Overall though, I can say my board did technically work. And if I had just taken the batteries out, my setup would still be under $100. Luckily, Ryan and Casey were cool enough to let me plug in a daisy chain so they could still test out my board and I wasn't disqualified from the challenge. Pick something. Here we go. special on a jewelry box. Ah, I like it. And then if you notice, I had to cut holes in it and use electrical tape because I couldn't get my jacks into my pedals. Uh, <laughs> this is like, almost like the Schmidt array. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that's what it reminded me of when I saw the uh, the board at, uh, at Goodwill. Um, we have a reverb, a delay, an overdrive. I like that. Uh, patch cables. They are a Chinese special. $7 cheap as possible. For five of them. I like it. And then you're running everything off of a daisy chain. Daisy chain. Sweet. Pretty cool. And then everything's being held on Velcro. Velcro from Dollar Store. Yep. Can't beat a Dollar Store Velcro. <laughs> I used the University of YouTube uh, to check out tone profiles on every pedal that I went and clicked on and uh, landed on the ones that I got. Yeah. I was shocked by my finished product, actually. Like, I really like it. Uh, the tone was pretty desirable and it was really functional. Like, I felt like I could actually use this board in a pinch, absolutely. Like, no problem.
present to you a pedal board for ants. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> wow, all of these look really good. I like the board. I like the board too. What so is I the think board? it's a cutting board, right? Or no, or like a charcuterie board. And I then he modified it. I bet you it's a charcuterie board. Look at the wiring underneath. Oh, nice. That is adorable. Is this a charcuterie board? It's a cutting board. It cutting was a cutting board. board? Nice. Wow. That is cool. That's adorable. Perfect size. You got yeah, two yeah. delays. <laughs> <laughs> An overdrive and two delays. This overdrive it's such pedal, a Casey board. These casings are absolutely adorable. So I picked uh, the Leon drive, which I thought was going to be an OCD. I don't know, I can't remember exactly what an OCD sounds like, but it sounded good <laughs> uh, for a $20 overdrive pedal. Um, the other two, I picked two different ones, uh, two different delays, uh, one being a thousand milliseconds and one being 600, so you could get different timing effects with them. One was supposed to be like a slapback kind of reverb. After testing out each other's boards, it was time to vote. We were rating each board in three categories, tone, functionality, and aesthetics. Before we get to the winner, here are our final thoughts on the $100 pedal board challenge. I would do this again uh, for fun, and I encourage people to take a $100 budget and mess around and try, because like it was way more entertaining than you'd think. Yeah, so for $100, I think you can see your options are pretty good. There's a lot of great affordable pedals, if you are creative, even with stuff that you don't have to build, but even finding things, uh, there's options for power, for cables. It is very doable to make a very usable, good sounding pedal board for under a hundred bucks. It was fun. <laughs> it was a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I had more fun reacting to everybody else's than to my own. But... All right, so this concludes the pedal board challenge. All three boards were made for just $100. And before we get to the voting, I have to say, I was incredibly surprised with how many tones and variations we could get for a hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 Like overall, it was a challenge. It was difficult, but all these boards are usable. Like yeah. I could gig with any of these boards. I have not had this much fun doing something like this in a yeah. while. Like I was really, really pleasantly surprised that I was able to stay under budget. Yeah, and, that, and again, including pedal board, cables, power, pedals, there's options out there. So if everybody says, you know, you have to spend a ton of money on a pedal board, you don't. All of these hundred dollars right here. So the moment of truth, who won the hundred dollar pedal board challenge? So we'll go, uh, we'll go in reverse order. So in third place, which was very close to second place, but in third place, Ryan. Dang it. 
you got a total of 40 <laughs> out of 60 points. All right, all right. Um, overall, very even scores. So overall, good tone, good functionality, good aesthetics. Okay. Uh, I came in second place. Dang it. 0. 0.5 points ahead. Who's doing right? points? 40.5. So my biggest knock, unfortunately, was on functionality because my batteries died. I forgot to take those out after testing. So points off on me. And the winner of the $100 pedalboard challenge with his Skittle pedalboard extraordinaire. It was just too cute. Casey wins at 46 and a half points, nice. really killing it on aesthetics and functionality. Um, tone was a little shorter than some of some of the others, but overall, the, the look and the uh, the functionality of the board won it. Pretty clean. So, yeah. This is your winner right there. Boom! Hundred dollar pedal board challenge. Hundred bones. Winner. Uh, we do challenge you at home. If you have a hundred bucks, put together a pedal board. It's a lot of fun. Surprising how much great tones and sounds you can get. So that's it, guys. That's the one hundred dollar pedal board challenge. Thanks again for watching. My name's David. This is Casey. That's Ryan. And remember, love, love your pedals. pedals.